Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm Pete, uh, and today is another episode of what I like to call tone tasting. Now tone tasting is where I just take a pedal and I kind of uh, plug it in and I just taste the tones, but um, I thought this was going to be a little bit different because I haven't tried this before and I didn't want to just turn the pedal on and have it on the, so you could see it right away because these are super duper cool. So these are the uh, Black Country Customs uh, handcrafted in the UK Laney pedals now so they send me all these four because they are simply in these super cool boxes i thought i was just going to try to unbox one uh, so you could also see what is in them and stuff so without further ado the first one today i'm going to start with so the plan is for me to do all four of these in four separate videos and in the last video i'm going to pluck them all in side by side and then we can hear and, and have a little fiddle. So basically you can see what we got here. We have got the spiral chorus and that's the one I'm going to start with today. Then we've got the monolith distortion down there somewhere. Again, the light's in there, sorry guys. Uh, and we've got the steel park overdrive and the uh, secret path reverb. So now I'm going to unbox them and then we're going to see what it all looks like uh, because these looks amazing. We're going to put them down here, grab the chorus and without further ado, I'm going to unbox it, so let's see. Right. I mean, check that box out. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So. Ooh. That looks pretty neat, doesn't it? Check that out. That's cool. Super dual, but cool looking pedals. Take the pedal up, and there you can see on the bottom, that's what it looks like under the bottom there. And then inside here, you've got, uh, take that out, and here is the uh, manual. I think that's really cool with some packaging that is, uh, that's a bit different. So here's the manual, it looks like that. And then without further ado, let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. Okay, so let's take a look at the top of the pedal. Uh, if you look from the top left, you've got uh, D for depth, then you've got a mix knob here, and then you've got a rate knob there, and you've got a, a tone knob, so an overall tone for the tones of uh, the chorus. Uh, you can also see there's three different modes on the top there. You've got an analog on the top, which is based on an old uh, analog um, C1 chorus from Boss. Then you have got the second one here is a tri stereo chorus, which is basically a stereo chorus on the left side, stereo chorus on the right side, and stereo chorus in the middle, uh, all banging together into uh, one fat, juicy tri stereo chorus. Uh, also based on an old uh, 85 Ditronic uh, chorus. Uh, last one is the uh, Dimension D, so that's based on an old. Um, Boss pedal. And I, what I really like is when you turn it on, you've got red, blue, and purple, these three. So there we go. So those are the uh, uh, things on the top. So on the side, you've got an input here, then you've got an input for an expression pedal, which will control the uh, mix, overall volume of, of, of the mix. Uh, and then you've got stereo uh, left and right out, and I'm running a stereo as well. So here is a clean tone. <laughs> And here is the analog. And normally I would say, let's start with everything at 12, but you can't do that because actually you can see it's almost like one o'clock there. And these knobs go from one to 10. So it's like, let's start at one o'clock. Maybe that's a new kind of a cop that should be making there for the coffee. So um, here we go. Here's the clean tone. <laughs> So there you go, so you can hear that wobble. So that'd be a rate there. So there's your full depth. Comes the mix full.
It's really nice. So let's just try to see what the uh, tone does there. Makes the whole thing uh, much more toppy or low endy. <laughs> That's kind of what it should do, isn't it, really? So it does what it says on the on the tin. Let's try, I've got an uh, ages from Walrus Audio on the floor there, a bit of drive. Maybe not completely that kind of tone, but you know, you get the idea. Maybe it's a bit more like. Anyway, so that works. Can't play any more of that. I'll probably just get uh, shot down and sued for that. Uh, okay, so let's let's hit down to uh, the dimension C, which is the blue one there. So just for reference, here's the clean tone again. Add some treble in. Some tone. Oh, so many tones in this guitar. Let's put the depth full up. I like that. It's like when the rate's all the way up. Really, what could use that for? But I mean, it's there. I don't know why I want to play in C and G and all that stuff all the time. It's just really easy to be like. It's just got that kind of, that corey kind of thing going on, which is great, man. Oh, that is really nice. So just reference again. And again, I'm running the mix full. Um, try the ages. And 
without. With. I mean, it's just great for, I mean, if you're looking for a chorus pedal, I think these are about one, five, nine, something like that, UK pounds. So if you're looking for something that has got three different choruses in it, really original, old, handcrafted in the UK, you can't really go wrong with that. Right, let's go back to the uh, to the last one, which is the tri-stereo chorus. I want before we go, because this is dimension D, or dimension C, as it's called, but that's... Well, I feel a little shoot-up coming up, coming um, with with a Voaza craft and a dimension D, and, you know, there's a shoot-up video in there somewhere. Right, let's move on. To the purple one, which is the last, I like it that the the LED has got three different colours. It's a really cool little touch there. Uh, so here is neck pickup. Then we'll hop, hop on to the tri stereo chorus. That stepped all the way down and rate all the way up. reference Back to the dimension D.
Man, so many tones in that pedal. It is really, really cool. I can't wait for the other, um, so I've got, as you saw in the beginning, I've got the other three pedals as well that I'm gonna try out. And in the end, we're gonna put them all together and then we're gonna see what happens. Uh, it's gonna be really cool. So anyway, that is the Black Country Custom uh, Spiral Array from Eleni Pedals here in the UK. It is a little bit of an underrated company. You should check them out. They've got some great heritage um, and, it, and, and there's some great guys uh, and the amps are great. And just, just go and check them out, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit different that is not just, um, you know, and in the same price. And it looks cool, it sounds great. What's not to like? Um, I'll put a link in the description below uh, where you can go and check out more about these pedals uh, and also put a link in uh, of course for Anderson's where you can buy one and also I'm going to put in a link for the Danish Pete store where you can buy one of these uh, lovely uh, let's start with everything at 12 or well, in this case everything at 1 but it won't be a cop like that because it doesn't make sense but it's still, still cool uh, and coffee of course as I said before tastes much better like that so anyway that's that pedal and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Pete and um, I really appreciate it if you could like the video and if you could subscribe, that would be really cool too. I'll see you soon. Everybody look after each other and take care. Be good. Peace. <laughs>